Hey guys, welcome to the weekly tarot forecast for the Numinous week beginning January the 6th. I'm Lindsay Mack, and the card that I pulled for us this week is the Eight of Cups. So, we're in our one year. If you add up 2017, it leads to the number 10. When we add that together, we get a 1. So, 2017 has taken the incredible 9 energy of 2016, which is all about karmic wake-ups, service to humanity, like all all of the stuff that was awakened in us by the events that took place in 2016. All of those seeds have been planted for our sacred service and our evolution and our expansion in 2017 and beyond. And now we're just starting to cook that up. We're just starting to harvest that to nurture those seeds. So it's going to be a very exciting time. However, just because the new year has come doesn't mean we're necessarily fully out of the cocoon yet. And that's what I want to talk about. That was what was delivered to me to discuss today through Eight of Cups Reversed. So we're still in a bit of a Mercury retrograde. We have about three more days to go and then we're in the shadow of it, which is essentially the dark period as it comes back to moving direct. Um, I am someone that the shadow period affects way more than the actual retrograde. If you're that person, then you understand that sometimes when Mercury goes out of retrograde, you feel a little bit worse or more kind of contracted than you did when it was in retrograde. All contractions yield to expansion, so it's all good. But just to be aware that this week is kind of like when a animal is born and it takes a little while to get up on its legs and walk and they're a bit shaky. Um, we're kind of in that phase right now, technically speaking, in our overculture and, and as a collective right now, we're kind of easing into this new year. So my advice to you and the advice through the Eight of Cups Reverse is to let yourself ease in. It just uh, is for this week to allow us to really have kind of a gentle landing into where we're going to go. So Eight of Cups is a very powerful card and essentially very simplistically means that we're leaving something. We're getting ready to depart from something, walk away from some aspect of our lives, something we may have poured a tremendous amount of time and effort and energy and emotion and feelings into that now we understand just simply is not aligned for us anymore. And once we're kind of ready to make that decision, we can walk forward knowing that what we're walking to, even though we're leaving quite a bit behind, we're only walking to stuff that's better and more in alignment. And that really connects with this idea that the eight in the eight of cups is really kind of an infinity symbol and a transformation. Anytime we get an eight, we want to consider it to be an energy that we're walking into one way, we're walking out of another way. Now reversed, um, that can go one of two ways for us this week. So tune in very deeply about where you're at. One way it could go is that you'll be invited as per Mercury retrograde and shadow moving out of the retrograde, you'll be kind of invited to tune in with whether or not there's a little bit more wrapping up to do before you can fully walk away from something. So if you let go of an old habit or a person or a situation, if you quit your job and you somehow wind up finding yourself kind of sucked back in or quote unquote backsliding, you're not backsliding. You're just hanging out in Eight of Cups reversed. <laughs> You're getting one last opportunity to kind of clear up any little remaining threads that you might have. So anything that comes up for you this week, if you run into an old partner, if you're feeling fucking, if you're feeling so good and you run into a situation or a person or a thing that just sucks, I mean, there's no other way to say it, maybe triggering, maybe upsetting, maybe gives you the idea you're going backward, actively decline the invitation into that story. You're not going backward at all. You're just reviewing so you can go forward in a way that's completely 100% committed to your new path. Now the other way that this could be showing up for people this week is that you've done all that work. Everything I just said has already been done. The, the old things have been popping up. You've been reviewing. You've been kind of pulled 
back into stuff in order to go forward in a little bit more of an aligned way. Now, if that's you, Eight of Cups reversed really implies like you're ready to kind of blow past the old shell. So if you've been keeping yourself locked in a story that you're not ready, you can't do it, you're not sure, blah, blah, blah. Eight of Cups reversed is actually this week in this situation for us as a collective asking you personally to blow past that, asking you to be a potent and empowered caretaker of yourself to be able to say to yourself like honey no we got this we got this this is done we're ready to walk into this now let's take the first step no matter how scary it might be so an example as far as that goes if you got out of a relationship you might legitimately be feeling ready to kind of date or see other people or just have fun and if that's the case for you absolutely go for it absolutely go for it and be willing to work with and deal with whatever arises from that so it's kind of a weird week in terms of the energy is not so clean, it's not so defined, but that's perfectly fine. Um, we are moving into a new year, a lot of different, you know, things that all of us are kind of downloading and moving through right now. We're also in a retrograde, we're about to go into the shadow of a retrograde and to go back to direct within the week, I believe, that we're doing this. So be willing to move with whatever comes. Just know that the nucleus of this week's energy really deeply has to do with how we're walking away from what doesn't serve us toward what does and how we meet those situations when we're on our way to walk away and then all of a sudden something follows us or we catch something down the road that we thought we'd left. How can we respond to those moments in a way that fully, gently, gracefully and compassionately releases it from our lives so that's the inquiry for the week tune in with that with yourself and rather than try to decide or figure out which one quote unquote you are in out of the eight of cups reversed kind of fork here just let it come let yourself be curious let yourself see it's not an intense week in terms of the energy so just see where it takes you i hope you have a beautiful week and i will see you next time Bye bye